Good morning. Uh, Secrets and Shadows Assault Battle. Turn the sound off. This is um, day two. So we've got all three battles available to us. I'll work my way through from tier one to bonus. Um, this is the squad I run. So at present, Mother Towson is maxed on everything except for Plague Bearer. And stats wise, 201 speed. As you can see, their health protection's not too bad. I mean, she's gear 10. Um, I'll just scroll through those quickly. So that's Mother Towson. Uh, here's my Asage. At the moment, all, that's, all that has been maxed is Endless Wrath. I have the others available but i don't have many omegas at the moment what i also have as you can see is two gear 12 pieces i'm just a bit in undecided on where they're going i would dearly love to pop them onto her immediately um I'm just hanging on to see I, I could look it up i suppose but maybe mother tails in maybe somebody else who knows here's her stats so she's at 190, but bear in mind that she's going to get speed boosts. In fact, they all are. But whenever the enemy doesn't have any buffs, she gains 15 speed per non-buffed player opponent. So her speed will get boosted there. I am tempted uh, with her. I may move some mods around because I've got a very, very fast offense set that... That's quite nice. Uh, here's old Dakar. So as you can see, she's gear level 12 as well. She would, this gear piece here, look at that, 6,000 additional health, which could prove quite useful for her. Um, as you can see, again, most of her attacks abilities are at seven. Uh, Chant of Resurrection is max though. And with that, Revive Random defeated Night Sister Ally at one health uh, with a 35% chance doubled on Night Sisters, so that makes it 70%, to revive other defeated allies at one health. All allies recover health equal to 50% of Old Dacca's max health. And her max health is currently at 20,000. So that 6,000 there, as you can see, would would push her up to what, 26, just over 27,000, which would be quite a nice health boost, but for a different time. Um, Night Sister Acolyte is at gear level 10, and I've done her basic, and her basic is um, deal physical damage to target enemy with a 70% chance to gain stealth for two turns. Then, if Night Sister Acolyte has stealth, she attacks again. So we're going to get like double taps from her. Um, 199 speed. Again, you know, they're all running under Mother Towson, who boosts all the speed by 30 anyway. But there are her numbers. High special damage there, 41, 44. And the final member of my squad is Talia, who, as you can see, is gear level 9. What was it she wants? Oh, yeah. She wants 9 gazillion Mark III Merson Thurman detonator prototypes. But she's in a queue because so does Acolyte and so does Towson. In fact, that's all... That's the only gear piece I'm waiting on for Towson. Uh, I have no re oh, must be because it was, yeah, it's a level 7, that's why that's maxed. Um, as you can see, everything else at the moment hasn't been done. What's this? Talia gains 15% turn meter for each active Night Sister ally. Huh? Dispel all debuffs on Night Sister allies. Talia consumes 20% of her max health. Other allies recover 50% health and gain 30% turn meter. And gains 15% turn meter for each active Night Sister ally. 
Other allies recover. All right, okay. Well, that would speed her up, wouldn't it? Again, not happening at the moment. Doesn't need to. Because um, I found that at the moment, this squad seems to do it. Just taking out the assassins first and for well, first of all, they're the ones that boost everybody else. I start inflicting some plague. And of course, this is just, yeah, this is the first tier. This is the one that's kind of like the uh, the lost leader. You don't think the rest of the stage is going to be that bad. And then you find out that they are. Wow. So, um, my way of, um, let's just move that, my way of tackling Sid is to put as many plagues on him as possible at the start. You know what, I don't even mind her not getting stealthed, so we're, we're just literally stacking up all the plague and there you go gone on that stage it is quite straightforward um next level and up you kind of need to and of course what i don't have i didn't i didn't invest in initiate She's the one that's kind of like the weakest of mine. I think she's, I think she's gear level eight at the moment, and she wants carpanties and stun guns to go up to nine. And it's like, you know what? I've already got five. They work. Synergy's quite nice with them. got Talia healing, Asaj clearing all the buffs, you got Daka and Ventress who will stun as well. Okay, so we're through into the final encounter. And again, just no, no plague. Thank you. Just loading up the plagues. Don't need to dispel anything. We can do that one though. I believe that will pop one up there. Uh, I'm just going to double tap with her. I won't put any more plague that way. But look, almost gone. And done. What did we get? Oh, so th these are actually gear 12 pieces come in quite handy. In fact, they're the gear 12 pieces um, to create the bayonet, I believe. And we've got four TIE Fighter pilot. Is that TIE Fighter or First Order? First Order. And some SID shards and 200K. So this is the very hard. Operates the same way, or I try to go the same way here, 
actually. Let's just get rid of you. You can't then pop everybody. Um, that was straightforward enough there, wasn't it? Again, I'll just try targeting. I uh, could have... Oh, you know what? I'll do a fair old bit of damage just there. Get rid of their buffs. Uh. And we're able to reset Asarge there, so if we need to dispel all their buffs again, we can do. Can we get a stun on him? Of course we can't. Let's go infecting. Do. Right, so this is because he is uber, uber tanky. It's quite nice popping that stagger on him and then rubbing him of turn meter. Just I'll pop that as well because that'll give him another bit of plague. I'm going to sacrifice my Acolyte for another plague. And you see, so um, Talia, I like in. All right, she's lost her health, but everyone else is maxed. She can start to heal as she heals everybody else. Now what we'll do is we will heal Talia and give Sid another plague. I think we should be able to just take him out here. Yeah, there you go. So just infect, infect, infect. If you can take out that stagger. Stagger? If you can take out... or remove turn meter from Sid, that just makes everything so much easier. Um, you're, no, you're about to go, aren't you? Stagger there, get rid of all those nice buffs that they've just been accruing. I'm just going to pick on one of the tougher ones there. Um, we will get rid of Phasma, just... And she's bringing some debuffs, right, so we can reset cooldowns for Sarge here. And that's pretty much this level done. In this one, I try to target and get rid of the pilots. Um, I'm gonna see if I can start, yeah. Took them both out, look, you see the amount of damage that they do. So let's do a bit of heal there. Get rid of that pilot. Um, 
Kylo's gone. Bit of heal from. I oh, could have. Oh, it doesn't matter. Let me just, Okay, and so we are now on to the final encounter. I am going to pop that onto Nihilus, bit of stagger, hit him once, that will rob his turn meter. Uh, we will take the wrath of Sith Trooper, I think I am going to do some healing, dispelling, and pop another plague onto Nihilus. Don't know if I've got enough in the tank here to... No, I yeah, well, she's gone now, so... He'll go now as well. And now it's just a case of infecting him. Another stagger. Clear the turn meter. Hit him again. Another plague, another plague. One more plague for luck, and that does the job. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Sid seems to be the flavor of the day. Look at that. Eight Mark V stun guns. Oh, yes. And again, 200k. Four scimitar shards, five Sid shards. Sid seems to be the uh, flavour of the day, doesn't he? And finally, this is the bonus tier. I'm going to have a quick slurp of one of my coffees. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, should so here we go with the Sarge. They've got all those lovely buffs. Now they're all gone. I should get rid of him. I want to get rid of her because she procs. Sif Trooper quite well. I don't know if I've got enough there. No, I didn't have. Never mind. Nice thing is, we'll get another option or another opportunity to, uh, you know what, I will inflict plague now you're the only one without plague I don't see why you should be special all right let's get rid of all those buffs and we'll target actually well, let's target more I'm not going to use the AOE special here. I don't think I need to. This should. Yeah. So she's reset her cooldowns now. Okay, can we stun him? Of course we can't. Let's just get rid of him then. I do like that. Double tap from... Akali, uh, no one is infected. I'm just gonna get rid of. Oh, you're still stunned. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, 
Right, Sid. Plague, plague, plague. Plague. More plague. As you can see, we've just stolen all his turn meter. Because you can't, it doesn't seem like you, we can stun him. Um, more plague. More plague on top of that. Don't need to do a heal yet. Can you see there? Was it on the spec? All right, we'll, we'll bring back Talia now. And we'll pop more plague on Sid. I'm not gonna, let's debuff everybody. Double tap coming in. And he's gone. That's just through all the plague he had. It's for a force of habit that from running rebels target death trooper because of his double tapped. Right, wow, look at this. This is going to be quite impressive, I think. Wow, nice. Um, oh. And say so they're both going. I just would have preferred, if I could, of targeting. The slightly healthier of the two. Um, we will use this and get rid of one of these. Um, bit of. Infecting never goes amiss, does it? Bit of healing. You should be able to... Oh, no, you can't. Is this them all gone? Ah, oh, yay. Thank you for... Allowing the reset again. Oh, could be in trouble here. Um, let's pop that onto Kylo. Actually, no, not onto Kylo. We'll pop it there. Let's bring back Talia. Oh, we'll just hit Foo. And let's get rid of the pilot. We'll get rid of him. Resets. Oh. Alright. <clears throat> the final encounter. The final, final, final encounter. Um, can we stun you? Yes, we can. I would rather like to do two things here. Um, let's infect everybody. And give you another dose. Uh, heal everybody and turn our attention back to Nihilus and again. Can we stun her? Yes, we can. Um, I'm not going to infect. Because that's hitting both of them anyway. I do like that double tap. Okay, wow. Asajj kills Nihilus with endless wrath. <laughs> you don't see that every day. 
Four Scimitar Shards, five Sith Assassin Shards, and another four Gear 12 Mark 7 Hairdryers. Lovely jubbly. Thank you for watching.